Get a high. Oh, my. A busy afternoon I've had. Don't even have a, a beer yet. Oof. Actually, I haven't had a beer for like four days or something. Stupid like that. Although, I did go to uh, the bottle load today and bought uh, a carton. So. God bless me. It's only a carton or something like this. I haven't had them for a while and well, you know, I gotta watch the old calves. We're actually going away this week and for 10 days, so. Oh, you know, Absy. Josh, cheers. Oh, nardies, oh mate. Oh, boy, I needed that. It's a very hot day today in Brisbane. And well, I've just been uh, doing some stuff. As I do. The only thing I haven't been doing is drinking beer, which I probably should do. So cheers. Thought I'd get the mid strengths this time because, like I said, we're going away to uh, Agnes Water on Friday, so 10 days away. Let's hope they've got internet. Hey, Rollo, want to say good day? What's out there? Is there a dog out there, Rollo? Better go to the kitchen. It's the kitchen. Night. Night. What I did do though was I really scrubbed this, um, this 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 flooring here the other day, hands and knees with a scrubbing brush, and scrubbed it. So it was dirty as anything, and now it's nice and clean, isn't it, Rollo? Hey. It's clean enough to eat off. Is it clean enough to eat off, Rollo? Sit. Is it clean enough to eat off? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Who's that, Rollo? Who's that? Better sketch him. You make sure you sketch him the next time. There's my car over there. In case you're wondering. Yeah, I'll try it. Guys like the clappers. Bloody beautiful, mate. Yeah, I'll try it. Nothing frightens the tritons. All right. You coming in, Rollo? Or are you going to wait out there? Of course he's coming in. Woo! Well. Huh. So I've been making this hand sanitizer and... Well, it's going to be cloudy, this one. Let's hope it fixes up a bit later. Hmm. Smells all right. Smells all right, the hand sanitizer. Right, let me take a beer upstairs. Let's go up there, where it's even hotter. And now I can see what's going down. Right. Okay. God, that's a good close-up. Crikey, have a look at the head on that. Boy. Jeez, I hope you're not watching on the TV. It must be disgraceful. 
head like a bastard pooper. Right. Let's sit down here. Oh, that's better. Oh, in the old easy chair. Right. Now, how about I get YouTube subscriptions subscriptions oh there's the head the head only a mother could love Whew. Oh, damn I don't even have a stubby holder up here crikey all right you had a shave yesterday jeez you just started your 40 minute afternoon walk that's not very long. Oh. Well, g'day USA, how's it going? Yeah, it's just, I'm coming live from Australia here. Now you might have heard a lot of horrible things about Australia, uh, but the reality is that only happened to about 95% of Australia. The rest of us, us Brisbaneites, I, we were scot-free with all the dramas, I reckon. <sighs> Sunshine Coast. G'day, Sunny Coast. Oh, that's going down easy. Right, let's see what the temperature is in this room at the moment. It's uh, 29 and a half, I'd say. Let's just call it 29 degrees. Oh. Um, so, yeah, what have I been doing? Not much. I'm, I've been making some videos so you know, for my other channel. and Well, I'm, I'm not going to have enough for when I go away. So I'm, I'm sort of hoping that... Uh, the place that we go to has got internet and then I can just do some funny little videos, cooking ones or something and they've got a barbie and I can just post some while I'm up there, that'll be really handy. Oh, excuse me. Gee, yeah, Smitty. Where is Smitty? There he is. Smitty. And, uh... God, what's his name again? I've forgotten! How can I forget? That's how bad I am at names. I can't remember my painting's names. Well, they're smitty. They're salty. And that was, uh... Bloody Neville! It's Neville. Oh, finally. Gee, the back. You can see the sweat on my neck. It's sweating. Whew! You enjoyed my steak video. Ah, oh, that's good. That's Tazzy. Ah, uh, Mitchell got it. 30 degrees, you reckon? Yeah, that steak was pretty good, actually. I mean, for 7 bucks 50 when you're getting all those other ones are like 20 to 30 to 40 dollars. Mate. It's tender and juicy. I know I caught some, uh, there was a few people saying uh, that I should have made the TP with the aluminium foil, but I don't care, mate. It's good that uh, I, I get to, uh, well, I get to annoy some people. Yeah, that's what I like doing. Just annoy them. Annoy them with kindness, usually. Yeah, ma. Ah, the guy who digs through my bin, he'll love that. Right, number two. It's like water, this. It's low alcohol and with all the flavour of the good stuff. Cheers.
<sighs> Look what I got. We are the boys from Brisbane town. We wear maroon, blue and gold. Hey, hey! We got that in the um, mail today. Oh, who's that? Better turn that down. <laughs> um, your grandma's 84 in October. Oh, that's good. JL just caught the raw prawn. Yeah, it sounds like uh, Justin Langer uh, was really being what a manager should be, and that's harsh, telling people off if they deserve it, encouraging them if <laughs> they deserve it. But I think all the, uh, all the people coming up now are in their like mid-20s, late-20s, all the cricket players, and I think they're all, you know, a bit soft around the edges. They need, they've probably never been smacked before, you know. So they probably need Justin Langer to just come up and go around the back of the head. Hey, Warner, stop, get that sandpaper out of your back, your back pocket. It'll be interesting to see how they go anyway. Very interesting. No alcohol, throw it out. Well, at least I'm drinking alcohol. It's five o'clock somewhere. It's 5.38 here. People are probably eating their dinner down in the southern states. Uh, no, I don't ride the pushy. You know what I did? Brian gave me a pushy, and I sort of did it up a bit and fixed the brakes on it and stuff. And then I never rode it, so I stuck it on the footpath. I thought, stuff it, just get rid of it. I put a free sign on it, and we put something, that and something else, and they both got taken, like, that day, so that was good. But no, I don't ride in a pushy. I'd like to get, I've got, got some bikes on the Gold Coast at my house down there, but I haven't got any up here. Will I fight someone at the footy this year? Bloody hope so. If I don't come home with a black eye at least one time this year, I'll be very disappointed. Shots are never given a chance these days. Of course they are. Well, I won't be going, I won't be wasting my thing to the AFLW, that's for sure. No, for Christmas, my parents-in-law bought me a, a three-game membership. So I got three games to go to. But it's only one ticket. <laughs> I said, did you buy Melissa a, a ticket as well? They said, no, no, just you. So I've got to go on my own or find someone that wants to pay a ticket. Goodbye. Actually, uh, the missus, she's really into the... Um, She's really got into the AFL and she's, because when I was watching the cricket, she was just sitting there with me watching her and she really got into the cricket too. So I was like, oh, sweet. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing. Do you want your missus to come to your sporting events with you? Or is that the boys time alone? To be honest, I think it'd be great going with her because I love spending time with her, so. Either way, it's going to be a win-win. Yeah. Good answer, Greg. You support the Sea Eagles. So does uh, Simple Cooking Channel. He loves them. Loving the new cooking videos. Yeah, I've just been doing cooking videos lately. I've only, I haven't really been making any videos. I've been just trying to get my head around YouTube again because I'm just feeling a bit Feeling like, oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm in two, two minds at the moment and I've just been eating so much shit food just for the sake of doing it and it's not good for my health. 
it's not good for me. So I've just been, I just, I just thought I'd cut back, just give myself some time, see if I feel any healthier and any happier, and then I'll uh, <clears throat> work on what I need to do and what I don't need to do. But uh, yeah, I haven't really felt like a fish and chips. <laughs> I made a fish and chip video every week for a year. And you think I'd be hanging for a fish and chips, but I'm not at the moment. I'm not hanging for a... Sh I went and had a $3 quarter pounder the other day, and I thought, oh, I haven't had junk food for a while. I ate that quarter pounder, mate. It was disgusting. I thought, ugh. I've just been turned off by junk food because I've eaten so much of it. And then I live with Melissa, who's an awesome cook, and we eat nice, healthy food all the time. So I think it's going to be a little bit more uh, nicer cooking videos. And a little... I'll still be doing food reviews. I made one today, so for Friday, but... Ugh. Johnny Raper died today. Ah, oh, that's a shame. G'day, Dan. The steaks look good, do you reckon? Wait for seven bucks fifty. Two steaks. God. And they were tender. I, I must admit, at the end of uh, one of them, there was a tiny bit of chewy fat, which I spat out and fed to roll over. Besides that, they were good. And yeah, there's at the moment you get two of them for fourteen bucks. So, or you can get. You can buy those, well, it was in the video, you've been to Woolies, you know, Coles and Woolies has them. They don't have the butcher there anymore, they just have cryovac steaks. Nothing wrong with that. In fact, I bought a few of those cryovac steaks, I bought the, like the porterhouse ones and the other ones that are fairly expensive. And they've all been great. They've all been really good and high quality, so... Get an Indian and hit the roads. <laughs> you went fishing, but no fish today. Ah, oh, stress. Oh no, I won't give up on the Colonel. They just haven't brought anything new out lately. I keep looking at the app. They've got nothing. The Colonel, uh, it must be the start of the year sort of thing for them. And they must uh, get their uh, get their way into it. Oh, Kane Higgins. Uh, thanks very much, Kane Higgins. That'll buy me about a... That one dollar will pay for this. Cheers, Kane. Oh, Nathan uh, Hallersey. Thanks, Nathan. God, he's a handsome-looking fellow, isn't he? He sung like a small donkey as well. Cook a chicken in the pressure cooker for us. Hope this cover the cost. Have I done? Oh no, I haven't done a chicken in the pressure cooker. I'm sure it's pretty easy. I mean, I've steamed a chicken before, Nathan. I made a, a video of me steaming a chicken and if you ever want to cook a chicken at home that tastes pretty damn good and cooks beautifully you just steam them i've got a video on my greg's kitchen channel that much put it on something that much water in the bottom and then you just stick it on a stove and it boils and with a lid on and a big saucepan of course steams it perfect so i reckon it would work very good in the pressure cooker let me uh let me write that down, actually, so I don't forget. Oh, God, the bloody blue tack. Ugh. Right, where's the pen? Pressure cooked chicken. Right. Nathan, I reckon that'll probably get done. I reckon if you check back in 12 months' time, I'll have done that. 
But thanks very much. You were going to do Feb faster. You only lasted one day. Ha! <laughs> uh. Billy boy. Cryogenic steaks. No, cryovac. Pressure cookers are good, Dave. I saw it's ten dollar redos. No, that was the other one. You don't, you dingo. That someone took my baby. My own version of KFC original chicken in the pressure cooker. How's my health? Cheers from the USA. Come on, truckers. Yeah, man. Oh, the truckers are trucking. Who's my favorite on maths? Well, I mean, they've all the women on there have got some sort of issues, don't they? God. Uh, I saw that, that there's that, um, the one with the Texan, so there's that Texas guy on there who's obviously got a a slug on him like this because he's he goes, I love sex, I've never disappointed anyone in my life. And it's like, he must have this thing, and all the girls love him. I slept with over 350 women. I'm sorry, you can keep count. <laughs> but, uh, like, that, his missus is obviously a little bit... But she seems nice. Uh, that blonde with the with the guy who's younger, she's pretty all right, I reckon. He's a doofus, and good on her for saying, "Look, you need to mature up a little bit." Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, she's all right. Then you got uh, the guy that uh, who's with the guy that girl who's with the guy with the beard. Uh, she's all right. Uh, he's a absolute wuss. It, it seems like all the guys on that show are absolute pussies. And they're just like, oh, I can't cope with it anymore. I'm walking out. And it's the guys doing that, not the women. Bloody beta cook cucks. That's why I keep going. <laughs> Melissa, I'm going, look at these beta males. Why don't they get some real men in there? Get some real men on that show for a change. Set a beta cacks. Um. No, they're all pretty good. Oh, the men seem to be beaters. I like that guy that was uh, the guy that's with that blonde girl that was like training her. Like she's like, you blah blah blah, and he's like, nah, nah. He's the only one that's got test uh, testosterone, I reckon, in that whole uh, out of all the men. Uh, but no, uh, he's uh, he's cool, man. I really like him. The one that was in Dubai. He's just like he's playing the game, and he he knows how to play the game. I reckon. No, like me and the, the missus, she's never watched any of these like uh, Married at First Sight or any of those TV shows. She's like. I'm not watching that, blah, blah, blah. But I've got her on to this one. And now she's like, is Mary the first night on tonight? I need to watch it. Oh, what time's it on? Oh, who's, who's leaving today? Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. That's how it works. Uh, you having a can of forex with me? Good on you, mate. Hey, maggot farmers. Best beer I've ever drank is the one that's in my hand. The worst beer I've ever had? Oh, Bluey. I can't believe they still sell that for like 40 bucks a carton. Mind you, the beer price has gone up again. It's hard to get a carton of beer for under 50 bucks nowadays. Bloody hell. 
My favourite time of the day is bedtime. My other favourite time is waking up. Actually, it's not. I've been waking up. I wake up at like 8.30 nowadays. I'll go to bed at 10 and I'll wake up at 8.30 exhausted. <sighs> Can't chime in on the maths. Maths. <laughs> uh, it's... I just... I like watching maths. It's... Uh, it's just... It gives you a good rundown. Uh, mind you, it's heavily edited, but it gives you a good rundown on um, what people are like and um, you know how people react to different things. And the the guys, of course, the guys on it, they they're just like ah. The women are talking to them. They're just like ah. I'm just ignoring what you're saying because that's what men do. <laughs> And then the women are all like, are you even listening to what I'm saying? <laughs> Cryovac removes all the oxygen. That's the killer in the other packs. Tindler Swindler on Netflix. I don't know what that one is. Uh, you thought I'd retired. Well, if I, if this place that we're going to next week doesn't have uh, internet, then you might think I have retired. I'm pretty sure I should. I mean, most places have internet nowadays. So I'm hoping that I can do a live stream at some stage from, um, from the Airbnb that we're going to be on, so... Or going to be staying at. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully. And if not, I hope it's got at least 4G up there. And, well, I can go for a walk through the bush and hopefully see a couple of brown snakes. Cheers. Ah. How much do I drink? Well, lately, I have, I have not enough. Hardly anything. I've been on a hiatus. I've been on a dry... I was on a dry uh, Monday. Yep, yeah, dry Monday. Uh, 12 months, what? What's the equivalent of live streaming when you were younger? Probably talking on the phone. That was about it, wasn't it? What's that? Guzman E. Gomez sending me emails. Hey, Guzman. Hey, Gomez. F off. No fast food Friday, no fish and chips. You're in withdrawal. Yeah, I'll... When, when we go to um, Agnes Waters, there's, there's a fish and chip shop there that... Well, we went to last time. It was really good. It was fantastic, actually. But there's another one there that I'll... Hopefully, we'll get to and I'll do a fish and chip review. I plan on doing some reviews again while I'm up there, so... Uh, who do I support in the NRL? You're a cockhead, so you're a rooster supporter. Oh, I get it. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really... Uh, I haven't really watched rugby league for a while. When I was on the Goldie, I 
didn't really watch it. And uh, when I was in Brisbane, I hardly watched it. But if I was going to back a team, oh yeah, I've got a uh, a, a Queensland Cowboys jersey. The Cowboys, the Cowboys. I've got their jersey. You see. So I would say I'm a Cowboys supporter. A hundred percent. And the Broncos, of course, if they ever really played something. Uh, let me just, I was just checking here and... Uh, right, oh, that was an email I was sort of waiting on. Um, ah, oh, Smitty, Luke Smith, thanks very much. Money is tight at the moment, that's right, he's buying his 16th house. Yeah, but always support the old Grego, cheers. Ah, oh, thanks, Luke Smith. How's that shirt going? Still fit? <laughs> You're thinking about moving to Queensland, Brisbane or the Gold Coast? Well, the Gold Coast is cheaper and uh, better. I'd be moving, mate, if I could move back to the Gold Coast, I'd fucking move back. Uh, the Goldie's pretty good and it's cheaper to buy. I don't know if you're looking at buying or, 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 or just renting. Uh, there's not many, too many rentals around though, so rental prices are through the roof. But if I was, if I would tell, if somebody was wanted to move somewhere, you might as well move to the Gold Coast. Because Brisbane, unless, <laughs> the Gold Coast is better. Brisbane for work, Gold Coast for fun, yes. Well, if you go, you can work on the Gold Coast. So. <laughs> it's way too hard to get a rental on the Goldie. Well, well, if you're in Logan, what about Logan, Lacey, around your place? Is it is it is it hard there? <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm renting my place out on Goldie at the moment, like at half the price I probably should. I can't wait for uh, the 12 months to be up because um, I'm going to be kicking those people out. And I am going to try and do some renovations to that place. And um, then jack the rent up uh, to double what I'm uh, suddenly getting now. Cheers. Right. Next. <sighs> uh, da, 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 da. What was I doing? Is this picture quality all right? Why is my screen here so dark? I got the. The light turned down, that's why. And why is it in like 420p? Oh, it's 720. Oh, that's the highest it goes. God, that's a shitty picture. Oh, Luke Smith. Lower Logan. <laughs> that's like China is West Taiwan. <laughs> Has anyone been watching the... Uh... The uh, Winter Olympics? I have. I've watched uh, little bits of it here and there. Like half an hour here, half an hour there. Um, not too much of it, but... Hey. Goldie's out of reach unless you're a multi-millionaire. No, it's not. Maybe where my unit is, it could be. 
but that's not in Millionaire's Row or anything. Oh, some of the houses around it are probably worth two or three million, but I've just got a little unit there that's only worth like 200,000 or something. If, if, if I'm lucky, if somebody offered me 200,000 for it, for that four bedroom unit that I live in, I'd take it. Ah, right. It's on the canal and a two minutes walk to the beach too. I'd take it though. Uh, drinking cat's piss. Amen. Ah. No, I'm not selling that place. Your favorite's curling. How will my daughter-in-law feel about that? Well, it's their problem, not mine. Facts over feelings. You know me by now, don't you? Facts over feelings. I don't care about your feelings if facts uh, beat it. There's facts and then there's feelings. And generally it's like, it's like paper rock. And paper uh, is facts and rock is feelings so every time facts win it's like playing paper rock <laughs> straight yeah i am alive only just i mean i've had covid and two clot shots and I still, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Still alive to talk about it. I made it through. I'm looking forward to my next bout of COVID actually. Next, my next bout should be even better. I reckon it'll probably, instead of me like cutting back on Actually, I don't remember stopping. The only thing, the the one thing that it probably did do was uh, just give me a bit of a cough and it made me breathless. Like when I went to take Rollo for a walk, I was like, oh, fuck. Whew. And I'd have to sit down on the gutter, <laughs> which is what I never do. <laughs> If I'm walking roll on, I'm like, oh, I feel, I feel like head spins. Like my, it just felt like it, my blood pressure was right down or right up. Whichever one. No, it's not a four bedroom unit. I was lying. I was doing a CNN on my unit. Harsh man, I am a harsh man. Harsh but fair. <laughs> the ivermectin, yeah, I haven't got ivermectin. No. You don't even need it. All you need is a couple of aspirins. I was on the um, paracetamols. I was having paracetamol. Gin and tonics and um, whatever else. And that seemed to work. And steak. I was eating meat, panadols, and alcohol. Worked a charm. You give me 200k. Dude, that sounds really tempting. Taste. Well, uh, the thing about the the Gold Coast is the the property prices there go up by thirty percent, like as we're talking. So that it's probably worth that two hundred k. That's not going to work nowadays, mate. 
No, it's already gone up from there. I could become the COVID king. Would that be sort of like, uh, what was that show? The Lion King. No, the Lion. What was that guy, that Lion show? He was funny, that guy. Ah, ah, I could become him. I think I'm sort of like him. Except I think I'm a little bit gayer than he was. Uh, yeah, I don't know what was worth. I think the jab was worse than the uh, COVID, that's for sure. Uh, Rollo, I think he's seven years old. What's that? Oh, yeah. What if this guitar's in tune? I haven't tuned it for probably a month, so let's see. Oh, yeah. Stalsy? Paul Styles. Woohoo! Mate, I'm nearly up to half a carton's worth of piss. Uh, were I a Justin Langer fan? No, oh, mate, I'm, to be honest, I don't fucking care, mate. I'm sure he was probably... All I can go on is uh, what people are saying on the uh, interwebs. Um, I mean, Mitchell Johnson, he was having a real, he was going, ah, oh, bloody, what, why is he getting bloody Cummins at the Bosley? And just going off. Uh, Steve Waugh kicked in, I remember, and he was going, oh, mate, you need someone strong there in management, not some, like Ronald McDonald. I mean, he was a half hack playing, like, T20. And now he's going to be like the stand-in manager? He's, that guy's... Have you seen him? <sighs> got a head like a bus. He's got my head worse than mine. But Stilesy, uh I mean, I was a fan. Don't get me wrong, I, I am a fan. Was he the best person for the job? Well, they didn't beat India, did they, in their test series when the Indians came here? So, hmm. yeah, there's always two sides to every story, I reckon. You want steak so bad? I reckon you just want some meat. Yeah, my bo I start eating health. You know what? I've I've decided right. I'm I'm slowing down. I'm not I'm not drinking anywhere near as much. I'm eating healthy, and I've stopped eating junk food, and I put weight on. How's that even work? Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to start drinking like a half a carton a night, eating KFC for breakfast, and like not doing any exercise, and I might lose some weight. Tiger King, yeah, that's him. In your food review, you did, uh, you said hello. Oh, sorry, I haven't even been on, uh, I haven't even been on YouTube the last few days. You think there's a shortage of beer making supplies? I don't think so. You love me, Greg. We love you, Greg. Thank you. I don't know why. I'm just like a effing C with a mouth. 
Can you imagine Alan Boarding being captain in this day and age? <laughs> He'd be har charged with harassment. Yeah, yeah, he would. That's why in Alan Border's day they were they were a winning team because they had a someone with testosterone leading them. They had an alpha male leading the pack. Now they're like, oh, the alpha males are upsetting me. I want it. What's there's beta? What's the one below B? Beta? Delta? I want a delta male. Bloody effing. Fs. Well, I am drinking watered down beer. I'm drinking four egg skulls. I nearly went the heavy stuff, but well, this is my interim beer before we go away on holidays, which I'll probably still be drinking. I'll probably take it in the car up with me in the esky. I'll be sculling them on the way up. Yeah, I won't be driving though, probably. Definitely not. Gosh, as if I would. You're on list of video titled KFC Food Review, Gregor, 9th February 22. Unlisted video? I didn't even get it in my emails. Eat KFC and Domino's and everything will get back to normal. Well, I hope so. Hopefully I'll start losing weight when I start eating junk food again. Imagine that if I, if, because I, honestly, I eat pretty healthy. Like, um, decent foods, like all my veggies. Uh, I only eat two meals a day, generally. And, yeah, I've just been, the weight is... Maybe it's just because I'm old. And maybe it's because I've got a, a wonderful partner who <laughs> loves all of me. So I've sort of just let myself go. That could be it too. We'll see. The possum? Oh, the possum's still going very well. I have to... I have to water where the possum lives at night time, like at eight o'clock at night, I have to go out and water it because if I water it while during the day while he's there, he gets frightened. So I have to, I have to do that. The nose beers. Yeah, maybe I'll have to go and see uh, my psychiatrist and see if I can get back on those uh, Dexies, I tell you what. When I was on those for my ADHD that apparently I was uh, diagnosed with, I lost about 10 kilos like that. They're good stuff. They use them for diet tablets. I should see if I can get up back onto him. Uh, yeah, well, I hope we get to do a live video too. If they've got uh, internet where we're going, which I certainly hope so, uh, then yeah, I'll show you if I can find it, I'll show you where we're going. Um, Let's see. I'll show you some pics. It's not like a, a great Airbnb or anything, but. Let's see. I'll turn this around. Right, so this is the Airbnb we're going to. So it's got, uh, well, that room there. So that's, it's, it's like a, it, it almost looks like a tent. So there's that one. Yeah, there's that, that kitchen's all right. Bit of a leather lounge. That should be fun. And then, uh, not too sure about that. What she's going to be watching while uh, we're in the bed there. 
God, no wonder she's got a sour look on her face. She's seen me with with my undies down. And that's the other room there. I'll probably be sleeping in there if I snore. Oh, what? There's three rooms? God, that one looks like the outdoor. That looks like a good resting room and a piano. I'll tell you what. There's going to be some... There's going to be some loudness and noise happening. Well, I hope there's more than one shitter there because otherwise I'll just go and shit out by a tree or something. Oh, that looks all right. Looks a bit busy. So there's the outside there. It's uh, kind of bushy. It looks very bushy. Hopefully there's a fireplace. Oh, that looks like a fireplace. That's good. We'll be sitting there bloody like doing all sorts of things and drinking whatever we can shove down our gobs. Oh, there's a fire. That's the road up there. I don't know if, how the hell we're going to get up to that place. Looks like an absolute... We don't have a four-wheel drive. How are we getting up there? Oh, look at that view, though. That looks all right. Jeez, I could live there. Oh, it's got a damn sweet. I'm going to go swimming in there and try and catch eels for dinner. Oh, it's got a little bath, boardwalk. Oh, you ripper. I'm going to be taking dumps off that. Oh, a glass of wine out there and by the corrugated iron. <laughs> Jeez. The kitchen. Oh, it's got a dishwasher. Thank God. Looks like a shitty old lounge covered in sweat. Oh, they're Buddhists, so there'll be a little Buddha there. Don't know what that is. Oh, some kangaroos. Okay, I think there's a there's a kangaroo there. A wallaby. That looks like a wallaby. Oh, there's a goanna. Crikey. We'll feed that thing eggs. They love eggs. Oh, some possums. Oh, jeez, I can't wait to see some possums. And go outside and see one, but there's one. Don't know what's there. Oh, that's another possum. Yep, yep. Oh, and some green tree frogs. Oh, look at the smile on that one's face. Oh, cormorants. Don't like them. The dam. Water lilies, something, kangaroos, more kangaroos, more kangaroo, wallabies, they're wallabies, those ones. Water birds, more water birds. Oh, that looks like the pheasant coo cow. Ooh, they're impressive. Like the pheasant coo cow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks like a hawk. Oh, black cockatoo. Sweet ass, bro. Oh, and a white cockatoo. I bet you, I bet you've seen a cockatoo. And something else. Duck. Whoopity do. Seen a million ducks. Oh, kookaburra. That's a funny looking kookaburra. Hope he doesn't come in the house and try and eat our sausages. Bloody cookers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, scrub turkeys are oh, great. Jeez, look at that. Monitor lizard. Straight. Oh, a gecko with no tail. Plenty of those around. Oh, a skink. Butterfly. Oh, there's the beach that we're about two hours drive from. Oh, look, it's surfing. Last place you can surf in Queensland at Agnes. Oh, and there's a sunset. And there, over there is a submarine. That's probably the Chinese spying on us. Yeah, we've been there. Look at those beautiful sunsets. At, or sunrise, same thing. One of them. Oh, lovely. And that's it. So that's where we're going on our holidays. Maybe I could catch a goanna and do a cook and a catch and cook video. That'd be all right. Ah. <sighs>
Is that Australia Zoo? <laughs> Rollo would have loved to go in there. He would have killed so many of those animals, I reckon. <laughs> Rollo's staying here with his his brother. Dogs box jellyfish at the beach. Not down this far. Uh, Hopefully not. Kelly Slater, is he still surfing? <laughs> uh, Chinese troops are stationed in Canada for a year now. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I don't care if the Chinese take over Canada. Uh, as long as I leave Taiwan alone. Yeah. Cheers. At least the Taiwanese will fight for their freedom. The Canadians won't. They'll be like, Oh, how's the boot and the boot and the dude? Oh, yes. Hey, come in here, please. Take our country. We love communism. Actually... They'll probably be more, the Canadians will probably be more free under uh, Chinese communism than under Trudeau. <laughs> uh, prawn pizza, Agnes, at Agnes is decent. Well, prawn pizza, right? Eh? Red Rooster Gravy, you can always tempt me with some Red Rooster Gravy. Don't worry, mate. I think we're 15 minutes drive from the main street, but we'll be going down to the pub and stocking up on all sorts of things. We'll be getting on it and going for bushworks, bushwalks, uh, searching for stuff. So it should be fun. We'll take plenty of beer. Well, today is... Today's Super Chat has bought me half a carton, so that's good. You emailed me the videos? That uh, good. So I've got half a carton uh, because of, of you guys, mainly like uh, Nathan and Smitty. Oh, and Dan. So cheers for that. And Stasi. That was a good Pommy accent. I don't know, that was trying to be a New Zealand one accent. Carbs, carbs, carbs. Uh, I don't think we're going back out to the reef. Melissa said, oh, can we go back out to the reef snorkeling? I'm like, those tickets were $220 each. <laughs> you got the snorkel for like, half an hour or an hour the weather was crap to get out there we were going over three meter swells and everyone was throwing up i was like i don't think i don't think i want to do that trip again i mean like if if we could go out and it was close <laughs> like in a helicopter that'd be good what if they'll have drones by then and you can just jump on a drone and get out there in like half an hour? That'd be cool. But no, no going back out to the reef. Uh, are they checking vac status in Brisbane eateries? What are they going to do if you if you haven't got your status there? Well, you can't sit here. No worries. And then you just move somewhere else. Parasail. I've done parasailing before when I was in Switzerland. It was awesome. It's one of the best things I've done. Because you take off from the land, you run down a hill with a parachute behind it and you take off. And then you go up in the air and you fly. I was flying over Switzerland. 
and then um, you're up there for like an hour or an hour and a half just floating around and then you come down to land it's, it's really fun and easy saves hiring a plane to jump out of that's for sure <laughs> drowning in rainwater through the snorkel probably They're checking back certificates at bottle shops. Well, you're not even allowed to go to a bottle shop. My Western Australia has gone full on. My Adolf would be proud. And I bet you that guy, he'll get back in next year. Western Australia is screwed, man. I mean, they should be opening up and just letting it rip through. But instead, they're just gonna, they're just holding back they're trying to hold back the inevitable, which is in, it's like they're trying to hold back the tide. And then once they do it, it's just gonna go. <laughs> so they're wasting their time. And checking certificates to go in a bottle shop is disgraceful. What a disgusting premiere you guys have. I thought, I thought Dan Andrews was bad. The fish and chip shop at 1770 was packed when you went there. That was, it's a really good one. Yeah, hopefully we'll go back there again. McGowan is Kim Jong-un in training. Yeah, he is. He's terrible. God, we don't have him here. You had to wear an unvax sticker at Townsville Hospital the other night. <laughs> really? I hope you write, write and proud or something underneath. You should have stuck it on your forehead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, anyway, guys, I'm going to have to head off. This was just a quick one. How long have I been going? An hour. Yeah. I've just been too busy. I'm too busy at the moment. I've got lots of stuff to do uh, before we go away on holidays. But, um, yeah, just a very quick one. Uh, hopefully, uh, on our holidays, I'll be able to like get an hour, an hour, just to hang around and have a beer by the fire or uh, do some stuff at our Airbnb. So hopefully you can catch that if I'm if I can do it, of course. Uh, math song. What time? Oh, it's not on here. It's it comes on at seven thirty here. So it's on there at the moment, but not on here at the moment. But it'll be on in an hour, and we'll be there watching. But uh, uh, I'll probably see you next week at some stage while we're on holidays. Yeah, but cheers everyone. Thanks for coming along today. Thanks for the super chats and I'll see you next time. Adios amigos. Hasta luego. Cheers. <laughs>